Hey, my name is Jade. Welcome to day 15 of this 30-day yoga journey to creating a healthy habit. We're going to kick off week three with a class focusing on twists. You can find a comfortable seat, bring your palms to your chest and close your eyes. And take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. One more inhale. And exhale. You can open your eyes, inhaling palms up. And exhale, right palm to left knee, left palm behind you. Roll your left shoulder back. On your inhales, lengthen your spine. And on your exhales, you can twist. And back to center. Inhale your palms up. And exhale, left palm to right knee, right palm behind. Roll your right shoulder back. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed here so you're not pulling them towards your ears. Keep bringing your focus back to your breath. And release. Bring your palms to your knees. We're going to do a few rounds of seated cat cow. Inhale, pull your chest and chin forward. And on your exhales, you can round the upper back, chin towards chest. You can do some independent movement here. Try and connect your breath to your movement. On your inhales, pull your chest forward. And on your exhales, rounding the upper back. One more. And exhale, rounding the upper back. Back to center. I'll meet you in tabletop position. On your inhale, bring your right arm to the side. And on your exhale, thread it through. You can rest your head on the mat for a little twist. You can choose to keep your left palm where it was, or you can hook it onto your right thigh to deepen the twist. You can choose to keep your feet flat or tuck your toes, depending on how you're feeling about your balance today. Tucking your toes might give you some extra support in this pose. And release, I'll meet you in tabletop position. We'll do the other side, bring your left arm to the side and thread it through the gap. You can rest your head on the mat here. Again, you can keep your right palm where it was, or you can choose to hook it onto your left thigh. And breathe into the twist. And release. Bring your knees mats width apart. 
can bring your feet together and lower your hips down into child's pose. You can rest your forehead on the mat here. And look up. We're going to walk our palms to the right. You can rest your left palm on your right hand, stretching out the side of your body. And try and push through your left armpit here to create a bigger stretch on that side body. And look up. Walk back to center. Just going to pause here for a second. And look up, walk your palms to the left. You can rest your right palm on your left hand. Rest your face between your arms. Again, you can push through that right armpit just to create a little bit more stretch onto that side body. Look up, walk your palms back to center. Look up, start shifting your weight towards your palms, tuck your toes and lift your hips up into downward facing dog. You can paddle your feet here. Creating some space for the backs of your legs. Try and relax your neck. You can gently look from left to right, nodding your head. Push through your thumb and first finger. Try and have your wrist creases point to the front of the mat. And look up. Walk between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, palms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and stretch to the right. You can look past your left arm here. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed. Back to center. Grab your right wrist and stretch to your left. Don't allow your rib cage to pop forward either. Try and keep it. Try and keep it flat. Come back to center. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank pose. Knees can be up or down. Lower all the way down to the mat. Feet are flat. Inhale, peel your chest and chin up into baby cobra. Lower down, tuck your toes and lift your hips up into downward facing dog. You're welcome to pedal your feet here. We're going to grab our left ankle with our right hand. Look past your left hand. This might be a little bit tricky for your balance, so do your best. Really push through your left palm back to center. We'll do the other side. Grab your right ankle with your left hand. Look past the gap. You'll twist it downward facing dog. And back to center. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee. We're going to do a few knee circles here, or hip circles, sorry. Straighten your leg and step it between your palms. We're going to lift up into a high lunge pose. Bring your arms to a T and then we're going to twist to the right. So you're going to bring your left arm forward, right arm back, 
So you're going to have warrior two arms, but in a high lunge position. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed here. Back to center. Inhaling palms up. And exhale, palms to the mat. Step into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. And inhaling into your preferred back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. So you can always choose whether you want to do a downward, um, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Inhale your left leg up, bend your knee, do a few hip circles on this side. You might feel some cracks and pops in your hips and that's fine. Straighten your leg and step it between your palms. Inhale up into high lunge. And exhale into your twist. This time we're going to lead with our right arm forward, left arm back. You should feel this twist in your abs, in your lower back, in your mid back. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed here. And back to center. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, palms to the mat, step into plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, down dog. And root through your palms here. Your heels aren't touching the ground, that's absolutely fine. You can still pedal your feet. Inhale, your right leg up towards the sky. And step it between your palms. This time I'm going to get into warrior two. So lead with your left arm, lifting up. Your back foot is pointing toward the long edge of the mat. You can choose to wrap your left arm around, hook it onto your right thigh, and inhale into reverse warrior. A little shoulder stretch. You can choose to stay as you are. Completely up to you. Back into warrior two. Windmill your arms to the mat. Step into plank pose. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. We'll do the other side. And inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Step it between your palms. Turn your right foot. Windmill your arms up towards the sky into warrior two. Again, you can hook your right arm onto your left thigh here if you want to, or behind your back. And get into reverse warrior. And back into warrior two, windmill your arms down, step into plank. Lowering down, chaturanga, inhaling, up dog or cobra, exhaling, down dog. And relax your neck here. Push through your palms. And look up. You can step between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, chair pose. 
My knees are bent, I promise. <laughs> bring your palms to your chest. And because this is a twisty class, we're gonna bring our left elbow onto our right thigh. Try and keep your hips level here. You can look at your knees, try and have them pointing forward. If you wanna intensify this stretch or the pose, you can bring your left palm onto a block or the mat. Completely up to you, or you can stay as you are. Try and keep your hips low. Back into chair pose. Palms to your chest. And this time we're gonna bring our right elbow to left knee. Again, you can stay in this pose or you can choose to bring your right palm onto the mat or the block and lift your left arm up towards the sky. Your thighs might start feeling this by now. And inhale your palms back into chair. Exhale, folding forward. You can pedal your knees here. And then we're gonna shuffle our feet hips with a part. Grab opposite elbow and we'll get into ragdoll pose. So just allow your spine to chill and hang. And rock from side to side. And then slowly lift your body back up. Then we're gonna step into a wide leg stance. Grab a block if you have one. Then we're gonna step into your wide leg stance. You can bring the block between your legs. We're gonna inhale our palms up. And exhale, bring your palms to the block. So when you're folding forward, you wanna hinge from your hips. Bring some body weight towards your toes so your hips aren't leaning back. I would suggest staying on the block, but if you feel like you can bring your palms to the mat and have a long straight back, you're welcome to do so. And then because this is a twisty class, we're gonna inhale our left palm up towards the sky. You can stay as you are, or you can choose to grab your left ankle with your right palm for a deeper twist. And you can also hook your left palm onto your right thigh. Try and roll your left shoulder back. Back to center. Inhaling your right palm up towards the sky. Again, you can stay as you are, or you can choose to grab your right heel with your left palm and hook your right palm onto your left thigh. And roll your right shoulder back for a deeper twist. And back to center. I'm gonna to turn to our right. To get into a low lunge position. You're gonna bring your left knee down towards the mat. Yeah, inhale, lift yourself up. Pull your left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale your palms up, bring your arms to a T. And then we're gonna twist. We're gonna bring our left arm to the mat and inhale our right palm up towards the sky. And track your knee with your toes. Bring your palms to the mat and switch over. So you can bring your left leg forward, right leg back. Bring your arms to your T and twist to your right. Now twist to your left. The right palm on the mat, left palm up towards the sky. And bring your palms to the mat. Step into plank, lower down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, down dog.
you can choose to step or jump forward come into a seated position bring your left leg forward bend your right knee and then we're going to wrap our right arm around our right knee you can try and clasp your fingers if you can't reach that's absolutely fine you can just grab your clothes Do a gentle forward fold. Keep pulling your left toes back. Straighten your right leg. Bend your left. Bring your left arm up. Wrap it around your left thigh. And then try and clasp your fingers or your clothes. Keep pulling your right shoulder forward. So you staying squared towards the front of the mat keep pulling your right toes back to keep your right leg active and release re-bend that right knee this time we're going to bring our right palm behind us left elbow to right knee for a little twist keep your shoulders relaxed so you're not pulling them towards your ears Keep pulling your left toes back, your leg stays active. And release, bend your left knee, left palm behind you, right elbow to left knee. Roll your left shoulder back. Keep pulling your right toes back. And release. We'll get onto our back so you can hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. release your left leg keep hugging your right knee into your chest you can do a few ankle circles here and then we're going to twist to our left try and keep your shoulders grounded here back to center Release your right leg, hug your left knee into your chest. Do a few ankle circles, and then we're going to twist to our right. Again, try and keep your shoulders grounded. Back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Release your legs onto the mat. Let your feet flop open. Palms are facing towards the sky. You can close your eyes. Release your breath. Into our final resting position, Shavasana. your body completely relax onto the mat. And we're going to bring our right palm onto our chest, our left palm onto our stomach. Gonna inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and hold. 
Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. And inhale your palms over your head for a full body stretch. Roll onto your right side, let your head rest on your arm. We'll pause here for a moment. Slowly push yourself up into a seated position. And bring your palms to your chest. Take a deep inhale. And exhale completely, bowing your head. And thank yourself. And open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for your practice today.